And of course, we got three snails. Why is that one floating? To complete the picture. <laughs> what? That's not supposed to happen. This is my baby snapping turtle Blurg's fish tank. Now Blurg is doing pretty well and Jeffrey the crayfish is alive and doing good. However, the tank itself is filthy. It has algae everywhere and it's just atrocious in general. My plan to resolve this is to do a quick water change, but then my main strategy is to actually purchase a whole army of algae eating fish and just other fish that will like clean up the tank. The really cool thing about doing a water change in a room that I turned into a habitat is I can just dump the water on the ground here. Because the animals in here, including all these wasps on the window, and the wasp nests right here, they need humidity. As I was filling the tank back up, I suddenly realized I had forgotten Jeffrey in the tank. But it's okay because honestly, Jeffrey's always been one for a little bit of drama. So pretty close to my house is actually a really neat fish store. Check it out. I'm in the big leagues. Tony don't miss me. Ballin' like Houston. Hey, feeling like Whitney. I need a bag, bruh. Send it through quickly. I'm making his dog. Like I'm in the big leagues. Told him that I gotta go, dog. I'm riding a road, y'all. I think that I'm back in my bag now. So I need that go, y'all. Got his when he throw in the fastball. I just spent a lot of money. We got some pretty amazing fish. Let's check them out. First up, we have three little bala catfish. These things are bottom feeders, which means they'll clean up debris that's been left behind. Next up, to add to the catfish family, we have five albino quarry cats. These will do a similar thing by feeding on the bottom of the tank and cleaning up. Next up is the real deal. These are three really sizable plecos or plecos and these guys are really going to clean up the algae look at them they just chill there on the bottom of the tank now these plecos will continue to grow their entire life and they can live up to 20 years so these guys could get pretty huge these ones are my favorite these are freshwater figure eight puffer fish look how they just hover in the water like that now these have really no purpose in cleaning the tank. They're just awesome. And of course, we got three snails. Why is that one floating? To complete the picture. <laughs> what? That's not supposed to happen. This is a very energetic snail. Stay down. Now I'm gonna be completely honest. I was told that pufferfish eat snails. So that might just be pufferfish food right there. But they'll also help to clean the tank. Well guys, this is our new fish family. Let's introduce them to the tank. Shazam. We'll check back after the water's cleared to see how they adjusted. But while we wait, something I did not tell you guys is Blurg is not going to live in that tank anymore. I'm going to put him in a new place that fits more of his natural habitat, what he's designed to live in. And it's going to be bigger so that he also has room to grow. But for now, I think Blurg is a bit hungry, so I'm going to drop a couple larvae in the tank. Okay, he's blind. Oh, there he goes. Ooh, nice. Making that look delicious. Ooh. Oh, nice. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Comment below if the way Blurg eats larvae make you want to eat some too. I wonder if he'll eat one from my hand. I doubt it. Ooh, maybe he will. Yeah, he did. Look at that, guys. Oh, wow. That's the first time Blur Gate from my hand. Want another one? Come on, eat it. Don't eat my finger though. Nice. Yeah. Oh. Nice. That's awesome. 
Oh yeah, I almost forgot. This is green tea, a little turtle that I found floating upside down in a creek a couple months ago. I decided it would probably drown if I didn't help it, so I took it home. Now he can swim just fine after some proper care. Although the tank is still a bit yuck, these fish are enjoying exploring their new home. Thanks for joining me. I hope you come along on many more adventures to come. Oh yeah, and Jeffrey's still being dramatic positioning himself at the base of a volcano. 